Hi, Jam again. I'm going to be documenting the initial setup on my uh, iPad, the third generation. So here it is. Let's uh, power it on. Oh, there we go. Oh, power switch is here on the corner. There we go. We're getting a uh, just the Apple logo. Now this uh, this iPad was delivered in Japan, so it has a default set for Japanese, or at least according to the box it does. But I'm going to be setting it up uh, as a uh, on a U.S. account because my uh, Apple account at the i at the iTunes or the Apple Store is based out of California. So anyway, we slide to enable. It says welcome in Japanese and a few other languages, but uh, I'm going to choose English. Arrow next. Now for the location, it's the default again is Japan, but I want way down at the bottom, United States. Okay. Next. And there's my. Uh, that. There's my, oh, it's missing again. I guess I've got to do this right side up. There we go. Ross Home. That's my Wi-Fi, which it seems to have found by default. Next. Uh, choose to set up as a new iPad or restore from backup. This is set up as a new iPad. Next. Sign in with an Apple ID or create a free Apple ID. I have an Apple ID. My Apple ID is iPad or iPod. Actually, at M O R O S S dot net. I actually use different addresses or different uh, accounts for almost everything I sign up for online. So that if somebody leaks my email address or sells it or something, I can tell where it came from. So if I start getting mail from iPod at uh, Moros.net or iPad at Moros.net, then I'll know that Apple is the one who leaked that. I could make a new account called iPad.Moros.net for this one, but I actually want to tie it to my existing account, which I got when I got an iPod Touch a little over a year ago. So I'm going to keep it there. And now I've got to put in the password, which I'm going to do a little bit out of view. Okay, and next. Now, this is the uh, the terms and conditions. Uh, I've actually read through most of the terms and conditions from uh, Apple uh, on a number of occasions. They tend to be over 60 pages. The, one of the reasons I've set up mine to be on a U.S. account is that the the terms and conditions for Japan, for the especially for the uh, the iTunes Store, is a little bit different, and I prefer the uh, the U.S. Uh, conditions. But I have it mailed to me anyway, just so that I have a record. It'll, I won't necessarily read it in my email, but by having it in there, if something ever happens a year from now or six months from now or something happens online where somebody's complaining about uh, onerous changes to the terms and conditions, I can actually go back and see what was sent to me and tell if there really was a change. Because sometimes people claim there are, are nefarious changes that actually have been in there all along. So, I agree. It may take a few minutes to set up your your Apple ID. One assumes that it actually did get my password okay here. There we go. Oh, this is a question. Do I want to use iCloud? iCloud stores your photos, apps, contacts, calendars, and more wirelessly, and wirelessly pushes them to your devices. 
Sure, let's choose to use iCab. I haven't used it before, but we'll start now. Since I before it didn't make so much difference because I only had an iPod Touch, but now since I've got two devices, I might want to keep them synchronized. If I add something to the contact list on one, I want it to be in the other. Hopefully, iCloud will do that. Back up my computer. Back up to iCloud. Fine. I don't expect to have a lot on. Uh, I store a lot of maps, but not music or videos and things. Let's see, what's this? This is, if you misplace your iPad, find my iPad to help you locate on a map, play a sound or display a message. Yep. Yes. I'm not especially bothered about location services. I don't go, I go lots of places with GPS recording and being published online anyway. So not being or having my iPad uh, tattletail on me for where I'm going is going to be absolutely no issue. I assume I can choose this differently later. Let's say no. Now I don't want it to waste my bandwidth sending uh, diagnostic information, register with Apple, register with Apple ID. Sure. On. Start using iPad. There we go. The screen does look very nice. Okay. That was probably longer than it needed to be.